Um, good afternoon, bus enthusiasts. Uh, today is the day number four of Bus World um, Brussels. Uh, today is the 21st. So, like right now, I'm in hall number two at uh, a stall uh, which is one of the uh, manufacturers or possibly distributors of commercial vehicles such as mini buses. It's called uh, Forveda. Uh, I'm just going to just acquire some information. Okay. Excuse me, where is uh, which uh, country is Forveda based? Uh, Lithuania. So, it's one of the Lithuanian uh, based uh, companies. So, like uh, in front of me, there's one green mini bus. It's based on Iveco Daily. It's uh, actually, it's, uh, as you can see, it's uh, an electric hybrid because uh, as you can see the name plug-in hybrid which actually means that instead of having to charge uh, from the uh, like uh, through regenerative braking or through the diesel electric transmission they actually plug it into an external outlet uh, to charge the vehicle uh, so this will be a full in depth tour of uh, this bus so let me just start off with the exterior first a uh, very nice uh, chrome wheel supplied by Aglis uh, 17 in Aglis uh, Michelin tires of course, then you have a compartment right here. This is for the fuel. It says router hashtag. It's the number triple three. It says uh, Celenta Motors plug-in hybrid. It's also wheelchair friendly and for anyone who needs assistance in walking. The, the Aveco logo. You have the grill. So it's front engine. You have the number plate right here. It's actually BMT. Apologies if you can't see it. And this is the uh, for the wheelchair ramp. Uh, rear opening doors. It's very easy to open. Nearly 90 degrees. Actually, you could extend, extend it further. So open the side through this flap, and you have the wheelchair. Uh, lift so at least you can like uh, uh, let any uh, wheelchair passenger in you can actually extend it completely now let's go inside this bus it's uh, easily stretchable so at least to give a wide opening space and then this is the interior opening handle excuse me please just need to get inside okay Keep the ear, radiators, and then also eye globes. Keep the in in the back. The climate control. This one, so you know they're very the about yeah, to stay with the hazard. Yes, yes, but of course for we are um, advising the, the solution where we are looking at our um, the uh, <laughs> windows. Weather conditions in yes, I am the driver. Country. Is this uh, yes? Could you film me, please? Is this yes. a electric? You get me with the car. car. So is this a hybrid uh, electric or this hybrid. is hybrid? I thought this is not because it's actually it has a like a manual it's transmission. Not customer, it's not diesel electric. Uh, it's a diesel electric. Interesting, but how can it have manual transmission? Start student <laughs> <laughs> Check out the interior. So it's actually, look at. you can see quite a lot of. Seats have been, so it's not really um, completely like uh, many of the coaches you find because actually it's more for like handicapped yeah, people. So, like, this is mostly a dedicated wheelchair uh, space, uh, yeah, but as like well. uh, an optional. Yeah, is it possible to like, uh, actually, this is uh, you have one of the seats which you can actually fold in, example, fold in if you have to let any wheelchairs or like, or like just uh, uh, close it if you want uh, to have to accommodate any uh, one to sit in this the emergency hammer to actually break the glass. Got the overhead space for. Luggage, yeah. got some AC and, vents, uh, due to the lights, got the seating numbers is 15 seats and 7 if you have any, it looks not if you are accommodating nice, 3 wheelchairs you at, and you can't have any standing you know, space and if you have all 15 seats and no wheelchair, in all vehicles, matter, got the, the stop button and the, the charging socket because you can see the USB uh, logo and the USB, sorry, the wheelchair bell. We are so two by it's a two by one seat bus. Like you could just see one seat. Again, like how I showed you the wheelchair ramp. Let's open the door from inside. And the light, the uh, lighting uh, that turns on when you have to open the door. I'm just demonstrating the door. Okay. 
Very comfortable for seating. You have a handle the back. Apologies if you can't really see much because it's actually all the lights are shut off in this. Only in case that's off this bus. Excuse me. Yeah, you can easily switch off or switch on. Because I know that from, from our experience... Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, feel free to click the thumbs up or thumbs down uh, button if you liked or disliked. Feel free to uh, put any comments in the comments uh, section below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos of transport rides or like uh, any uh, bus and coach reviews, like any trains at upcoming uh, train fairs. And like I just uh, apologize if uh, like uh, most of the seats were the darkness if you uh, could not see uh, well enough. But uh, it was. Uh, hope you guys uh, would uh, just feel free to like this video, and uh, hope to see you in my next upcoming video presentations. Thanks a lot, and goodbye for now.